Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jason here, man, and we are back with a brand new toy review for you guys. And this is Power Ranger related and for you Power Ranger followers here on the JPT YouTube channel. We got a special treat for you, man. I'm super excited. Um, here it is, guys. With finally made its way. It's finally here. The highly anticipated Hasbro produced Power Ranger figures, the Lightning Collection. Uh, I've started off with the Mighty Morphin White Ranger. We got this about last week. Last Thursday is when I got this thing. God, the relaunch date was just a mess. Um, there's a lot of street dates for this thing, man. Like the street date originally was for May 1st. Um, then there was another one saying April 21st, and it was a, such a mess. So I guess they just completely dropped it, and it was just, I could just release it now. And so Amazon, I picked mine's up on Amazon. And I think now Target started having to sell theirs too. So maybe completely dropped the. Uh, street date we got a notification from Hasbro just drop it but anyway uh, enough about that man let's take a look at that box so that box is very nice it's very reminiscent of a figure arts box which is very cool but a lot bigger approximately nine and a half inches or nine inches I should say nine inches length right here width across about five inches and then the width of the box about an inch and a half but the box art is very nice. I do like that new box once again. It's just cool to have this in person. Uh, seeing so many pictures of it online, you know, for the lead up to the launch date. It's just, man, having it in person, in your hands, is just amazing. So, box art, nice little artwork of the MMPR White Ranger. You got the new Universal Power Rangers logo over here, Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin White Ranger. The side of the box shows you, you know, the side of the artwork right here. And then you got the Mighty Morphin logo right there. And then the back of the box shows you the figure. Man. So as you can see over here, it does come with the Ranger comes with the White Ranger comes with five extra accessories. You have your civilian head, you have the effects over here for your weaponry, for your your poses. Then you got a set of hands that with the close fists, and then you have Saba right there. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open and take a closer look at this brand new figure. Let's take a look. Alright, so here is the figure unboxed with all the pieces out. And let's go ahead and take a look at it, man. I am very impressed with this thing. Seeing this in person, guys. Just the perfect Power Ranger figure. This is what I love about this new Legacy or the new Lightning Collection from Hasbro. They gave us that perfect Power Ranger figure. You know how just like in the old Bandai line, the figures were just very muscular, just super just jacked to the gills. We were hoping to have that perfect Power Ranger figure, um, that quote unquote suit after build. And Hasbro finally gave that to us. You know, we finally got that suit actor build for our Power Rangers figures. It just looks amazing, man. It really does. Um, just right off the bat, man, this thing looks amazing. The paint work, the detail work on this thing is great. They got that gold just on point, on point. There's just no need for me to do any kind of repainting whatsoever. Um, just, just really, just very impressed with this thing, man. Just really, really impressed. Now, this thing has 27 points of articulation. Let's go ahead and just run through real quick all the articulated areas. His head, of course, can bobble up and down on a ball joint 360. His, uh, his upper body, like his rotator cuff, his uh, pecs, they can go forward and back. I like that too. It's on a swivel, so I actually dig that. I dig that a lot. Um, he does have, of course, his bicep swiveling. He does have the double jointed, double hinged elbow. His wrist can rotate. And he does have his upper body can twist. It can twist. It is ratcheted. And he does, of course, have the, the torso crunching action too. So they eliminated the waist turning right here and just instead went for an upper body turn right there um, his legs are ball jointed they can split they can go forward but not back his buckle right over here can actually turn around 
And what's so cool is that the holster is actually molded into one piece with the buckle right here. So there's no need for um, pinning it in to the buckle like the old Bandai did. Um, you got torso articulation over here. You can turn, double hinge knees. His ankles can tilt and then if we can go forward and back. Seems ratcheted too. So yeah, he has a wide variety of articulation. He can just make it do anything. Oh, also too, his calves can rotate uh, 360 as well. One cool thing to also point out too is that his his shield is rubber. It's not plastic. It's rubber. So hey, I love that. That's perfect. 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 All right, guys. So here is Hasros and Bondi's sub of sorts. Both of them are great, <laughs> to be honest. Both of them are great, but Hasbro just has more paint details. But both both sub of swords are awesome. Give them props on that one. Let's get straight to the accessories now. So with the new Hasbro, of course, you can also switch out to your power engine helmet with the civilian head so now that right there is they captured Hasbro definitely captured the essence of Tommy right here I believe what they did was that they took you know they try to I think they digi scan you know some of the images from his photos from back in the MMPR days to get that uh, to get probably get that perfect head sculpt and uh, it definitely is a very nice head sculpt. I kind of do wish too that they um, launched a both a ponytail Tommy and a Tommy with his hair down. I think that would have been that would have been pretty dope too. That would have been pretty cool. But no, they actually did an excellent job with his head sculpt. It really is nice. God, Hasbro is killing it right now, man. I am telling you right now, man. Also, too, guys, you can also switch up the hands. Um, simply, like I do. Just like that, just pull out the, pull that hand out, and then you can switch it out with the other, with the other interchangeable hands too. We'll just use the closed fist right over here. Like so simply attach. Boom. All right, and so this little piece right here, this is the little effects piece that comes with the figures, so you can add special effects with with its respected weapons. So this is pretty much a translucent, it's like a very soft plastic, uh, clear blue piece. Yep, as you can see, there's a little slit right over there. You can simply attach it to the end of the sword or the tip of the sword, the saw sword, just like that, any way you want. Then you can do something like that. So that is very neat. I do like that a lot. Uh, it adds so much to figure adds so much to it give it so it gives it some more uh, gives it some more variety for sure. so here it is let's take a look at the differences between the Bandai legacy and the Hasbro lightning so right off the bat day and night difference uh, first off with the Bandai legacy six and a half inch in height uh, they are they are much more of that bodybuilder look really jacked they're very muscular compared to Hasbro Lightning Collection, where it's going more targeting, more towards a bodybuilder, not bodybuilder, but more of that quote unquote suit actor build that I always, always say um, it's just true to the actual Power Rangers. Like, that's what Hasbro is targeting. They're trying to go more authentic, true to the look. Um, just once again, just day and difference. And of course, the paint job, of course. The gold is all very shiny here compared to the Lord Dracon here from the like the Legacy. Um, it's very, it was very hit or miss with that with the paint jobs at the Legacy, the old Bondi man. Uh, but especially with the gold, it was hit or miss. It's either this or that gold with the Lightning Collection White Ranger. Um, just once again, it's a day and night difference, and it's very much improved now under Hasbro. You know, I mean, no disrespect to Bondi. You know, Bondi released some decent stuff. You know, but you know, Hasbro took it. Hasbro pulled off the hold my beer move and <laughs> topped it off, did something even more better. And then also too, for other references, here he is next to 
the six inch uh, beast more for basic figures so pretty much is about this nearly about the same height it's a little smidge taller maybe like a this is probably like a millimeter or two taller but but then it's much bigger the lightning collection is much bigger than the basics but they're pretty much universal uh, streamlined as far as height go all right so overall guys this figure is a huge improvement compared to bandai hasbro definitely nailed it with the lightning collection figures they're absolutely beautiful wonderful pieces i'm still very happy that they kept the 1999 price point uh the old legacy figure price point they started hasbro decided to keep that price point for all of this stuff that you get the five extra pieces civilian heads you know a super 27 point articulated figure just and just absolutely just great detail work all the details that you know the toy makers put into with the figures you know what man hey that is definitely worth twenty dollars in my eyes that's definitely worth it uh, be sure to check out your local toy stores guys they already dropped amazon has them uh, this is part of wave one uh, wave one consists of this mighty morphin white ranger uh, Dino Charge Red Ranger, Shadow Ranger, and Lord Zed. Uh, I do want to point out too, if you guys are looking for Zed, he only comes in one per case. Uh, so it's going to be very hard to find, man. Zed is definitely one of the hot ones. Definitely number one in this wave to get. $20, once again, highly recommend getting him. It is absolutely a beautiful piece. Uh, I cannot complain, man. All, nothing but positives. So that's going to be it for this toy review for the Mighty Morphin White Rangers. Lightning collection figure. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends and family out there, guys. Share, subscribe to my channel if you're a fan of Power Rangers, Transformers, Pro Wrestling, and if you're a fan of any or all of them, once again, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get new notification alerts when I post up new content. And to those who are currently subscribed to my channel, I thank you so much. You guys are this was making me want to do this. Uh, big ups to you guys. I really do appreciate it. So this is Jason signing out, man. Please, wherever you are around the world, peace and love. Take care. We'll see you later. Before I go, though, check me out. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Handles will be down in the description down below. Peace.